Only because I didn't wait. Oh no, sorry. Uh, to finish the manoeuvre, but that guy told me go. go yeah, that's go. what it's. That's what it's for. That's why I stay forward for yeah. you to get around. I had to do that. Yeah. Yeah, no worries, man. No worries. Yeah. yeah. Otherwise, you wouldn't have got in. I told him that I would wait for you. No, no. And he said no, no, no. No, no. no. You, you wouldn't have got in. So you wouldn't have got around this corner here. Okay. So that's oh. why I, I pulled forward and stayed oh, okay. there. Thank you, you understand? Very much. No, that's, <laughs> I didn't realize. It's because of that post there, man. That's all. Yeah, yeah. Thank you very much. No worries, buddy. So windy one tonight. Good evening guys. <laughs> Welcome to the channel. Welcome to a brand new vlog. Have I got time to get something to eat? I think I have. Hiya. Hiya. How are you doing? Yeah, not bad. Sure. What have we got tonight? Curry. Curry? Happy days. Hello, mate. Uh, could I have that one please with the uh, chips please? Thank you, chips. Tea please. No, thank you very much. <laughs> Cheers, Bob. <laughs> Cheers, dude. Thank you. Oh yes, please. Thank you. Thank you. Right, I don't eat on camera. I don't even do it on stream. But look at that bad boy. Oh, it's free as well. So I'm gonna scoff this. I'm not gonna lie, that was absolutely gorgeous. But anyway, guys, how are you? I hope you're well. I hope you're safe. And uh, like I said before, welcome to a brand new vlog. I'm actually working nights, as you can tell. Back at the crazy depot again. And I think I'm gonna be on this foreseeable future. So I've got to try and figure out my streaming schedule. But I will be streaming on the 10th, 11th and 12th of December on Twitch, the Big Chris 9. And I will be giving away 300 pounds in gift card vouchers for Amazon over three days to say thank you for the people who support me on the Twitch channel. And I'll also be giving away this PlayStation 5 to one of you lucky guys, uh, the Big Chris 9. Um, just to say thank you for the support you guys have given. The reason why I was on a vlog last week, I filmed a vlog and it didn't turn out to plan. Um, I used this camera to stream with, but when I stream this camera, I have to turn the audio off and I forgot to turn it back on again. So I filmed a vlog last week and when I downloaded all the footage to, to edit it, there was no audio. So all I can do is apologize for that guys. I do apologize for that. The garden itself, God. We were supposed to, do, right, I ordered the wood. Okay, the woods all are here for the top part of the garden. Uh, it all came, fantastic. Uh, Chris, the guys helped me. Mate, thank you very much. Set off, but the snow. The snow is like Antarctica, just dropped all the snow all over Manchester. So we've had about four inches, well it's not exactly Antarctica, but had about four inches of snow. So he couldn't, he tried to set off, he tried to get down to me. It was like, mate, I can't do it. You've seen a couple of my videos where I go on a, a really scenic route uh, called Woodhill Pass, but they close it because it's quite dangerous and treacherous in the winter time if the weather's bad. So they closed it, he couldn't get to me. He didn't want to take the chance in case he got stuck in Manchester. So I said, like, turn around, go back, we'll do it next weekend. So the wood's here, but uh, it's not up yet. So hopefully, fingers crossed, this weekend, we check the weather, there is no snow this weekend. Fingers crossed, hopefully nothing will go wrong. Um, so yeah, hopefully the, the, the main part, the centre part, the top decking will be done this weekend. I'm going to vlog that and get that out to you hopefully next weekend. 
uh, so you can see what we're doing and this vision that I've got for my garden. Hopefully it'll look really, really good, fingers crossed. It is getting there slowly, it is getting there and hopefully in the summertime I can have it completely done because I've got some really good ideas for the bottom garden. I think we're going in now. Yes, we are. How's it going, dude? Oh, yeah, good. Yeah, you man. Where's he going here? Yeah. The guys you've seen then, the, the black guy, and there's two other guys on the yard, they literally stand on the yard for 12 hours directing trucks. There's no way on God's earth I could do that through the. It's nice in the summertime, brilliant. In the wintertime, nah, that's not my job. Really couldn't do that. And what we're going to. We're coming to entrance to the actual inside the depot in a minute and there's a guy who sits in a hut all night and what he does he's got like a computer screen and he gets told when there's a space for a truck to get unloaded but a certain trucks have certain destinations so you have to go to really a certain truck like oh, when i come to get loaded up again there'll be an area where all my kit is so i have to wait till that base free so he really is the guy in the yard and then they say yep 13 this number's 13 you then go in and go in the bay to get all your kit. I couldn't sit in this uh, this shed all night either. Not a chance. Cheers, mate. So we're getting unloaded, uh, sat up here. I had some bad news today. Now, okay, to give some context. Okay, so you guys know that I stream on a, a platform called Twitch. How can I put this? I'm not gonna give any names. I'm not gonna name anybody because I know this guy wouldn't want the recognition. I know he wouldn't. So I stream on a platform called Twitch and I do play games, we do a lot of chatting. I interact with everybody, we have a good laugh. There's a guy that comes into the, um, on my channel. He's a really good guy. He's a really, really genuine, honest guy. And he's become a really good friend of mine. And I mean, uh, this is in context, this is the type of person he is. You guys are aware when I got made redundant, I never got paid for that month. And I was like panicking. I was like, well, how am I gonna pay for my bills and stuff? But I would've figured it out. Through the government scheme, you can claim the money back and you can get the wages that you lost and any redundancy and that type of thing. And I was on stream and I was talking about it. And uh, next thing I know, I had a ping on my phone. And this guy had sent me 1,500 pounds. He's like, so he, and he messaged me at the same time saying, look, you know, when you get your redundancy money, or the money from the government to the money you've lost, give me the money back then or give it me whenever you can afford it. And I was like, mate, I can't accept this. It's 1,500 pounds. He says, yeah, but you're in more need than I am. 
and I trust you to give me back. And I did. As soon as that money hit my bank account from um, the government scheme, I sent him the £1,500 back straight away. Um, and the kindness blew me away. It brought sort of faith back to humanity because in this crazy world we're living in at the minute, a lot of people are out for themselves. A lot of people, and you don't expect that type of kindness, really I don't, from anybody. I've always done it on my own. I wasn't expecting it, I wouldn't ask for it, but he sent me the money and I said, okay then mate, I genuinely appreciate that. I wouldn't take it unless I definitely needed it. And as soon as I got that money, I will give you the money back, in which I did. I think it was four weeks later, I had uh, 1,600 pounds in my bank. I transferred him the money straight away. That shows the character of this person. Um, he's a really genuine, nice guy. And I had a message today and his wife, Lisa, she watches the stream as well and I think she just looked like my voice. She's, she just liked the deepness of my voice. Anyway, I had a message today and uh, sadly, his wife passed away this morning and the guy's in bits. So the reason why I'm doing this is to say, one, thank you, and two, um, my thoughts are with you. I know that your wife, Lisa, she was your rock. I know that she actually meant the world to you. You meant the world to her. So, my friend, I hope you're okay. And if you need me as much as I can be, just drop me a message. And I hope you're okay, and I hope things get better for you soon. That says fully unloaded. Now it's a case of uh, parking up and getting my fat head down. So this place gets absolutely chocker. I'm a little bit late tonight. I should have been here for ages ago. It's now 11 o'clock. And uh, I think the guy was telling me they, are, they have 16 to 70, 1700 pallets in this place every night. That's every night. It's a lot of pallets. And I think he said about five to 600 trucks that's a lot of trucks. <laughs> These guys stay out here all night. Literally, that's all they do. They stand on this yard for 12 hours a night, in the cold, rain, just directing trucks. Thanks, mate. There's no way I could do that. That's a hell of a lot of trucks. Do you want me on the left, mate? On the left? Cheers. Cheers, mate. Got a bit of driving that, mate. So now, I just sit here. <laughs> well, I was going to get my head down. Oh, geez. Right, times. Um. I normally try and get my head down, but I'm just sat here and I can't sleep. I literally cannot sleep for six hours and I'm just totally exhausted. So I don't know. I don't know. Are we ready for Christmas? <laughs> you didn't get them times when you just have a complete brain fart. You don't, you don't, you know, you've got these ideas what you want to talk about. And then when you come to do the vlog, your mind goes blank and you're like, oh, man, and iron, uh, 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 I don't know what to say. Well, that's one of them times. But I, I think the best thing to do, I need to try and get my head down. It is like 10 past 11. If I can try, because I'm going to try and sleep. I'm going to try some dream, dream, dreaming. I'm going to try some breathing exercises, which may, may sound a bit dodgy if you could hear me. But um, I'm going to try some breathing exercises to try and get me to sleep, because I'm just struggling to sleep and I need to get some sleep. So guys, I'm going to lock up close my curtains what a time to be alive what a time honestly guys if any of you are thinking to be in a lorry driver honestly go for it it is really really good time to be a lorry driver and 
Let's go for it. But anyway, guys, I'm going to get my head down. I'm going to get some sleep, try to anyway, and uh, chill out for a little bit. And I shall see you in a few hours' time. Bye. So I've just had a message from, uh, well, I've just seen the message from Maisie saying she's got a surprise for me in the garden when I get home. And I'm, I've got a feeling got a feeling that uh, yeah I got a horrible feeling I don't know what it is <laughs> anyway uh, it is ten, uh, 10 past 3 in the morning and um, as you can see I'm just waiting to go in and I'm knackered not gonna lie and I've got a block nose and I had no sleep whatsoever Cheers, mate. It's just flicking parlors everywhere. Absolutely peeing down. What time is it? Bye right, guys, I'm gonna get this trailer done up. Um, I'll see you back at the house, because you've seen, I've done the time walks and everything. I'll see you back at the house, because there's something that Maisie's done in the garden, and I'm quite worried about it. Okay, so, uh, I've got a feeling I know what this is, but I wasn't expecting that. What the hell is that? I've never seen a Christmas dinosaur before. <laughs> Bless her, she's put the uh, Christmas lights up as well outside. Hello. Hello. Hey, are you going to say hello? Hey. <laughs> oh, hello. Are you okay? So guys, uh, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the vlog. This weekend we're doing the decking, hopefully, if it doesn't snow, so uh, hopefully next weekend it should be a good vlog for the decking. So see you guys soon, take care, bye bye.